Okay, so hi, hello, what's up and so on and welcome to today's video. So for a change I wanted to do something different that I have not done. This is a get to know me tag. But to make things a little bit more interesting and maybe entertaining, I have decided to torture myself by eating while we continue go with this video. I decided to eat this little guy here, like half of the onion. I used other half for cooking, but yes, this. And I will cover it with some chocolate sauce. Why? I don't know. I am sadist or something like that. I am going to read from the uh, internet. I am going to read some uh, get to know me questions. There are uh, 30 of them. Yeah, let's get right into that, shall we? Okay, first question is, where did you grow up? I grew up here in Finland and in this town that I currently live, I think that I will be staying over here for, yes, the rest of my life. At least I hope so. And next question is, where do you currently live? I live the same, yeah, as I said earlier, I, I live in the same city that I was yeah, my, I spent my entire childhood here and teenage years and right now as an adult I still live here. And the next question is who is your first best friend? Oh dear god, do you guys really want to know about her? Let me know if you want a full video on this topic, but let's just say that my first best friend we met when we were seven years old, we had just started um, school and we were best friends for how long how long how long seven or eight years almost but she she is manipulated she see mani manipulates people and she is two-faced she is lying she is controlling and she has been using me all, all the time so we are not in, con in any contact I have not seen her, I have not heard about her for the past 10 years or so I don't care actually another fun fact that her mom lives like a couple hundred meters from my apartment and I, uh, I don't like that I thankfully I have not um, like seen neither of them and I'm really happy about it. How tall are you? Is the next next question. I am 168 centimeters. I will put like American measurements here. Dogs or cats? I'll throw what car and I'll say rats. They are they're so cute. I freaking love rats. Funniest moment throughout high school. Ooh, high school. Huh. Okay, so this story. We were like my uh, class, me and my classmates and the teacher. We rented a small boat and we were like cruising in the in the sea. Yeah, as you do. And we landed on some small island. Yes. So let me set things up and I'll just say that there were one bathroom and it was like passed to the engine room and when you sit on the toilet my knees were touching on the door. It was that small. But yes, somebody noticed that someone had took giant shit in the toilet and it was clocked. Right. All the boys were like, yeah, you go man, you go man. That person was actually really proud of that moment, like, oh god. And uh, yeah, like, they were like high-fiving, like, yeah, 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 you go bro, you go, go. That was fucking hilarious. And we, us girls were like, uh, Nice, nowhere to pee. Great. So yeah, that 
that's like something that I just saw on top of my head, right? Yeah. What year were you born? 1996. In a month I will be 24 years old. Yes. Are you in or have you gone to the college? I'm not actually quite sure. I was 16 years old and I went to this kind of school that where we had, had like... I'm not sure, quite sure if that's like a called college or what, what is it called, I'm not quite sure. But we were like, we had some theory classes and then we had the like where, where we were doing stuff. Not just reading books, but we were like doing some stuff like practicing the skills that you are going to need in the in the work field, like in the laboratory. So yeah, I did go and I graduated from at the 2016. I graduated and yes, I am a laboratory technician. What is your favorite drink? Water and this vitamin well reload. It's zero. It's zero sugar. It there, it has B and D, vitamin, zinc, magnesium, and yeah, it's no no sugar, no nothing. Like yes, I I pretty love it. Citrus and lime taste. I uh, I'm obsessed with this one. What is your spirit animal, and why? Hmm. I am. I think I'm going to be really boring here right now and I think I'm going to say a cat because cats have nine lives and I feel like that I there were so many moments where I could have died and I did not die I just lost my one of my lives if I were a cat I think that my cat that I have right now it I would be that cat because yeah she is really calm and yes, sometimes she just has this, has this outburst where she's like going crazy and all over the place. Yeah, that's me sometimes. But also I'm very chill <laughs> at times. So it's like, yeah, there is some switch going on. I think, yeah, that might be my spirit animal. My cat. So that was 10th question and I think that I am going to have a bite of this and oh dear god what am i getting myself into i will take the plate down here and yes oh shit did it oh great it's just splatter all over the place great this is supposed to be a chocolate uh, dressing but i in my opinion it it's more like chocolate pudding so yeah yay chocolate pudding and onion very great put to the side where I will be getting the junk oh my god I am I am going to regret this am I as you can see we have some chocolate pudding also there's some hair very great yeah cheers That's disgusting. Oh my, oh my god. Also, I can't handle heat very well, so my mouth is like burning. But yeah, we are going to continue. You're wearing a perfume. What scent it is? Um, watermelon, tea, or coffee? Um, morning and day it's coffee, and at the evening it's tea. What are your life? 
goals. I'm just trying to stay alive and be happy, be positive, live my life to the fullest, enjoy life as best I can. That's my biggest goal in life. What sports do you play or have you played? I used to do boxing. I was quite good at it. And I used to go to swim, I used to do running and gym gymnastics. I used to dance when I was just a little like 10 years old and I like hockey. Sometimes I played like ba baseball also. Mm, it was okay, but yeah, not that not not my thing. But yeah, boxing was my life before my uh, cancer diagnosis and I still miss boxing. I do watch watch boxing. I'm wishing that someday I could go back to the ring and be amazing there. Have any books you read changed your life? So there's this one book, this. Um, lady detective or what is it? I'm not quite sure what this is in English. This is the exact book that got me to the reading. Like I remember I was seven or eight years old and my mom read this for me and yes my love for reading is this book has started it. Also I have been reading this book Laura Clary's Idiot. I have not read the whole thing yet but I am loving it and there are it is motivating it's really really good book I highly recommend this there are some really dark things sometimes but this makes me appreciate life what is your favorite movie I actually have quite a few movies I'm going to really fast Sweeney Todd I don't like musicals in general, but this is the only musical that I love and I have seen this like 20 times or so. Resident Evil, love this. This Batman where the heat Ledger, Ledger plays the Joker, this is classic, I freaking love Batman. Matrix, all time favorite, freaking love it. And my favorite Christmas movie is Polar Express. Who are your favorite YouTubers? Oh my god, there is so many. First things first, Sierra Reed. I don't watch that many of the makeup or skincare uh, channels, but Sierra Reed, I freaking love her channel. She works really, really hard for her channel. She pumps out five videos in a week. I'm like, how the hell are you doing that? That's amazing. She is an amazing person. She has such an energy, I freaking love her energy. And yes, shout out to you. Hi Sierra. And there are many, many, many more, and I will just list them here. Do you speak any languages and how well? Well, puhun suomea, suomea minun äidinkieleni, ja välillä se on hyvin vaikeeta, koska puhun suuri, aika hyvä englantia, niin, sit välillä menee englanti ja suomi menee sekaisin ja sitten puhuu suomen ja englannin sekoitusta. Ja itse täällä svenska mikä pra. I talk very little Swedish. I studied it for five or six years of my life and I have never used it. Not even in Sweden when I visited there. And English is my like basically third language but I'm counting it as a second language and it's quite good in my opinion. Yes, I have some moments where I don't remember some words, but in general my English is kind of good. Are you single or taken? Single at the moment, very happy. And I much rather be single than in a really shitty relationship. Shout out to my ex. What is your idea of dream date? My dream date would be like we get like a thermos coffee and some snacks and we will go like some old location for example one of my favorite favorite places on earth is a big like hill and there used to be castle in the middle medieval times and where the sea level was way way upper 
and there's no castle anymore but it's very beautiful there are so many like there goes river by and there are forests there are some fields and it's it's just beautiful and we would go there and hang out and go explore and like walking and yeah coffee shop dates are good also and then after go to the play, play billiard or bowling maybe but I much rather to have some like picnic or just cup coffee and snacks and yeah go and chill out on, on some place really cool looking so that was a 20th question and you know what that means it means mr. onion is back and uh, okay onion is here and chocolate is here Okay, that's good enough. Uh, okay. But let's just continue. How long was your longest relationship? A little bit over two years. How would you describe your fashion sense? It's kind of okay. It's nothing that that special. But yeah, sometimes I draw something um, interesting looking, looking pieces. But yeah, in general, it's kind of like mainstream in my opinion. It's not not that special to be honest. What is your go-to hairstyle? It's one of three things. This, this, or this. Actually, I'm gonna keep this on. This actually is a pretty good look in my opinion. How many siblings do you have? I am the oldest one. I have little brother and little sister. My brother is um, one year younger than me and my sister is five years younger. What is your go-to fast food order? It's usually it's <laughs> don't laugh. A children meal, child meal, or I'll just get a cheese bur burger. Yes, most of the time. Do you use PC or Mac? What kind of question is that? PC, of course. Uh, no, no, Mac, uh, no. Your most memorable vacation memory. Okay. So, I was uh, in the Girl Scouts and we went to the norway in 2011 at the end of the july we went there if you don't remember there was this maniac like he he was what was his name Bra bravik bravik or something like that there was this maniac he left bomb in a car in front of the like in Oslo's like city hall he left bomb in the car and he went to the island and killed a bunch of teenagers like there were like over if I remember correctly it was almost hundred who were dead he just went there and shot teenagers who were camping there like in summer camp that was really awful strategy it has all, almost been 10 years since that happened. But we went there with my, like, I was a Girl Scout, like, week after that all happened. And I just remember we were walking in Oslo and we walked where that bomb had been. And the whole road was filled with flowers, cards, and little little items and it was kind of depressing to see like that image has burned into my my brain 
What are your morning, evening routines? That's, that's actually another video. I will not go re really into deep that. If you want morning and evening routine video, could you please let me know. Do you have any bad habits? Oh yes, I do. I leave my dishes sometimes, laying around, but mostly they are gone like at the next or like in a couple of days they are gone, thankfully. And my mom really hates it, but when I like take off my clothes and I just leave them because I know they are good enough to wear at the next day. So I'm not putting them in the washing machine or in the closet and they are just like laying around or something. Everybody has that chair that they are putting some stuff. I don't have a, that chair in my in my bedroom, but I do have a, another bed there, like it's a couple bed and and the floor. So yeah, they go on the floor sometimes. But they do not stay there for that long. Like maybe day maximum. Tell us one thing about you that we wouldn't know. I am bisexual. You don't see it in my videos because yeah, I. it doesn't matter to be honest. Like, it doesn't affect my content at all. So I don't see point of talking about it. But yeah, that's one thing that you don't know when you watch my videos. You don't, you just don't see it. It's really not that special. I don't see a need to talk about it. It doesn't affect my content. And yeah, so that's why I don't talk about it. There's no reason to talk about it. Unless I am interested in in someone. Then, then it, it matters. But other than that, no, I am still me. That was the last question, and you know what that means? Fucking onion again! Ugh. I'm like dying over here. We are going to take one big bite and yeah, leave in the stem. Like, ugh, no, no thanks. I'm gonna put more of this freaking pudding there. Like, ew. Let's do this. Is, it's like a spoon or something like that. A little bit more to suit the hotness of an onion. I have done this two times, and I know I will regret it when I do. Oh shit! It's falling. Oh god. Okay. So I really hope that you enjoyed this video and leave me some comments. What did you think? Do you have some other questions? And what do you want to see next? So thank you so much for watching and being here with me and watching my, me torture myself. And I really appreciate you and your time. I am truly thankful that you are watching me and I'm so happy that you have been here with me. And I will see you on the next video. Bye bye!